Hello everybody, I'm back here again for vlog a day, and today is Friday the 12th, and today was a beautiful day weather-wise. Started off a little bit chilly in the morning, warmed up beautiful, um, had a nice little breeze going most of the day, not too bad. Um, got this morning, got a few things taken care of, nothing major. Got the dogs outside, played them for a little while. Finished packing up my um, stuff to take off from my route today, so I basically loaded it in the car, headed up, had to wait around until um, Sam's would even open because I Sam's used to open at 7 and now it opened until 8 which really sucks because this is what it is which ironically one of my spots I've gotten rid of I was up in Daytona I'd gotten rid of it because one it wasn't making any money it really wasn't shit so I pulled the machine out and put it in a different location which is doing way better but I probably would have left it there it's bought a different machine because they didn't open till 8 so I was like gotta get there I get to Sam's at like 7 get out of Sam's by like 7.20, you know, 7.30, whatever, at the latest. And then I gotta wait a half an hour to get to their place. And I gotta show up at 7.30 at Sam's, and at that point, there's a lot more people in there. So you gotta take the longer to get through, and you're dealing with more people. So we can't just paint the button. This was a couple years ago, a few years ago. I dropped that place, like I said, when we got to the machine. Move it to a new location when I got one because of the fact that I was like, God, it just it delays me. Well, now it was probably six months after that. Sure enough, boom, now they're back to Sam's until eight. So it could have been perfectly fine to go ahead and go to Sam's and then run straight there and head out and it wouldn't have been a big deal. But like I said, it wasn't making much money and there was a lot of waste there because they kept like requesting, like they wanted all the, you know, donuts and shit and all the, you know, the super short lifespan, you know, honey buns and stuff, but rarely ever bought them. So I'd even put like just two deep and they might buy one and then it would be, you know, it would go bad before it, you know, you get the next one sold. So it was a pain in the butt. So there's no money made when you're throwing away half your product and it sucks. And if I just put one in, they buy one like the next day, like, hey, we're out of honey buns. I'm like, yes, but you won't buy one again for another two weeks. So what's the matter? But so it was kind of a pain in the ass there, but I was kind of glad they'd have like, they'd go in weird spurts. They'd buy like all the root beer and just buy root beer after root beer, root beer. And then I'd be like, okay, cool. They'd sell out, so I'd double up, get rid of something else. Oh, where's the Canadian Dry? I was like, you guys haven't, you drank one can of Canadian Dry in like three weeks. Like you bought, literally, you bought one can in three weeks. And so I doubled up because you're going through all the root beer. Oh, we want Canadian Dry now. We don't want the root beer. We're going to buy root beer unless we have Canadian Dry both. I'm like, that's not true. It's so stupid. But one of the guys there, one of the Canadian Dry's, would pull it back out in there, bitch, and the, the root beer was, I don't know. It was a pain in the butt, so I definitely was glad to have it gone. So went ahead, got through Sam's, ran over, um, checked out a few other spots, got in and out of there fairly easily. Nothing important really happened. Got back here to the house without any major incident. Chilled out a little bit, talked to Karen off and on here and there, and basically just kind of checking as the day went. Um, checked on the stock market. The stock market was doing all right. It wasn't doing great. It was kind of kind of just running flat, which is way better than falling like it had been. Holy crap, it was falling there for a while. So definitely just kind of lingering around at that just around $5,000 profit margin, which now I don't sound like nearly as much when I dropped an extra five grand in there because before now I put in like 15 grand and there's 17 grand, I could put 17 grand in there. My $5,000 bonus was, hell, it's a third, you know, almost, you know, but now I got 22 grand invested and down below a quarter. So definitely it's still better than, you know, not, but I only had the extra five grand there for two weeks. You know, not even like a week where it's been. So not very long at all since it's cleared. So we'll see what happens with it all. Hopefully it just continues to go and continues to make me a little bit of money as we get keep going and we'll be fine. But it is what it is. Um, got back, played the dogs and stuff, of course. Let her out. She's, oh my gosh, she's obsessed with this one um, teddy bear thing I have. It's like a dog, but it's like a little teddy bear thing. and just goes nuts with it. She's just so excited. Get so excited to see you. I'm gonna miss her when she's gone. She goes home, I think, Monday? I think she goes home Monday. I'm gonna miss her, because she's always just so excited to get see you the door. It's like, oh, it's so it's so pitiful, but so excited at the same time to have that happen. So, went ahead, um, hang outside with them for a while. Got all my snacks put away and stuff, so it didn't melt in the car. And just basically, had not much else going on there today. I kind of checked a few YouTube things here and there, nothing major. And then hung out, ended up deciding to make myself a a little bit of leftover dinner thing. Karen wasn't really having that, so I had to figure out something else to make. So got that wrapped up. She got home from work. Um, everything went good. Everything at work is just busy. That's how it is. It gets busy and it is what it is. But she got home a little bit late from work. We had a meet and greet scheduled. People came over. Um, we were postponed to the meet and greet. They postponed it, wanted to do it the next morning, which kind of sucked, but it is what it is. So we're going to have to do that tomorrow, which is not really the best thing because we like to just have it over and done with in the evening. And then we'll see what happens and hopefully everything goes well tomorrow with it 
but just is what it is. It's just like we agree to this and then like last minute you change it, but eh, all is fun and games. So anyway, that's all I got for now. Oh, we had dinner stuff, basically chilled out, headed on the patio, watched a little bit of TV out there, enjoyed a cigar. She came out with me for a little bit, which is nice. I like having her out there at times. So no matter what we're doing, so I kind of like to have her around most of the time. So I still kind of like her. I want to keep her around whenever I can. So anyway, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.